a cold, cold late evening in the Maritimes, Canada. So, you know, we get some crappy weather most of the time. But just over there, you can't really see. I'll show you after. Sunset and a little bit of wind. But basically, what I'm doing is gather some stuff for fire. Got some cardboard fire stuff here. And what I've got right here is some fresh caught haddock that I have going a little bit of like a brine that I made just with some water, lots of brown sugar, you know, and a little bit of salt. You know, hopefully put that up on the coals today. Now that I'm starting to get the fire going, even though the wind keeps kind of putting it out there, um, I figured we'd get started on prepping the fish. Prep the fish. So let's open her up. Oh, she's looking good. Nice and juicy. Grab my knife. Or, actually. I'm going to use this instead so I don't contaminate my knife. So I'm gonna be used to be eating it. Just lift her up there, and do that. Uh, you grab some tin foil. And pick her up, just like so. Lay her right on the tin foil. Pour a tiny bit on top, just that it has some of the juices in there. For while we're cooking. There. And then what I like to do. I'm a huge fan of it. Is if I can find it, I lay out loads of butter. I love butter. <laughs> Gives it a nice juicy buttery taste when it's out of the fire. So I'm gonna grab the butter and just plop a little bit in there. There we go. Not too much, but not too little. Beautiful. And then we're gonna season her up with what I brought, if I can find it. So we got some lemon pepper. And if I, I don't know where it went, hold on. I grabbed paprika, there she is. Some lemon pepper and paprika. I'm just gonna take her here. Sprinkle some of there right on the fish. And then we take some of the paprika. Put some of that on there too. Oh yeah. If I pull up my flashlight, I'll be able to show you what the fish looks like. And then, yeah, we got that going. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to set you down like so. And, uh, you can't really see. We're going to wrap her up. I'm going to give it two layers. There we go. That way we don't burn the fish. And then, I'm going to turn the flashlight off. We're going to take the fish, put her right in the middle of the fire there, not to burn myself. And I'm going to try to move the fire, get it back up and going right over the fish. That way it cooks on those hot coals nice and well. And we'll have a good meal.
little bit here. Poke a hole in it, maybe. See how well I can do this with my thing. I stepped on it, it's bent, so it doesn't really cooperate with me here, but. There we go. There's hot coals. Hooking up some nice fish. Alright. Look at all the butter and stuff escaping. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? That's some fresh cooked fish. Looks good, too. Steaming. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, would you look at this, some good looking fish. This is the best fish I've had in my life. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. That's the best fish I've had in my life. That is so good. 10 out of 10, that's amazing. I love pond fire fish. So good. 